Hi guys, welcome back to Hear Me Out. I'm E. I'm D. And today, Mr. West is in the building. Oh God. Well, technically not at either of our houses, but <laughs> YouTube building. Um, so we saw a recent article and we kind of wanted to talk about it. And the headline is Kanye West told Elon Musk he's not bipolar, but has signs of autism following a 2002 car accident. Ooh. Let's let's discuss what, what was said and then our opinions, because th this is a lot to unravel here. Okay, so according to New York Daily News, Kanye West revealed in text to Elon Musk that he has signs of autism and asked a friend to publicly share screenshots um, of those texts on social media. Quoting, when are we going to speak? You owe me nothing, end quote. The alleged text from West began. You never have to speak to me again, but if we do speak, the nature of the relationship has to change. I'm not bipolar. I have signs of autism from my car accident. In 2002, West famously survived a near-fatal car crash, which resulted in his breakthrough debut through the wire in which he rapped with his broken jaw wired shut. Years later, in 2018, the Yeezy designer revealed he had been diagnosed with bipolar disorder. However, near the end of last year, Ye alleged he was mentally misdiagnosed following a career derailing spiral that included a failed presidential run, the end of his marriage to Kim Kardashian, a White Lives Matter fashion show faux pas, and a series of anti-Semitic rants. He claimed he was nearly drugged out of his mind to make him a manageable, well-behaved celebrity. In West's text to Musk, he went on to say that Kardashian was keeping their four children from him. Quote, you can't watch Kim keep my kids from me and not say anything publicly. Then call yourself my friend so I can bring my audience to your struggling platform, he wrote. Ian Connor, a fashion model turned creative consultant, also shared a text of West telling him to get the screenshots out to the public as he has lost almost all of his social media accounts. At the time that Connor shared the messages, it appeared that Musk had not responded to West. So, a mental mis mental health misdiagnosis, or something like that. Mentally misdiagnosed. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Was he mentally misdiagnosed according to himself? Or was it like mm -hmm. a doctor... Um, you know, it's just, I think, surprising to me. You know, I'm sure he has, you know, whatever he says he has. I'm not trying to discount that. But I feel like the old Kanye wouldn't let, how do I say this? Like, wouldn't discuss this as much. And maybe that's the, the faux pas of talking yeah. about mental health. But he was, you know, very entrenched in his music and being the best artist and outspoken, which I guess he's being outspoken about, you know, his, you know, um, his struggles. But I, I just, I don't know how I feel about this. Is, is he trying to get people to sympathize, empathize with him? Because... I don't know. I don't. What do you think? I think that when, you know, you have the resources, you should definitely seek second, third opinions. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, especially if, if you feel that the initial diagnosis might have been incorrect, um, yeah. or something is not right, or, you know, you don't feel right with these medications, something is just, you know, not correct. So, yeah, like, if you're able to, if you have the resources, as he does, mm -hmm. seek another opinion or a third opinion or a fourth, you know, because when it comes to mental health, I don't think that, you know, there's a perfect answer or a perfect science to these things, you know, it's, it, yeah. it can vary. And, um, and, and so the thing would be to, you know, try and see what sort of treatment plan would work for him. But mm -hmm. I feel that like I can understand that he would want to kind of put that out there that he was, you know, misdiagnosed because in recent years, his initial like revelation of the bipolar diagnosis has been used against him. Mm -hmm. um, and it has been used as a tool to kind of 
in a way belittle him and you know kind of chalk everything up to that um mm-hmm. plus if he was in fact drugged up to a point where he was just not even really himself then you know that can also be a reason to to want to speak out to want to like you know, have people know like hey like who you guys thought was me was not me you know like <laughs> I mean, Britney Spears literally just wrote a whole memoir about the whole, you know, conservatorship um, hellhole that she went through and the things that her family was doing to her and putting her through the ways they drugged her up and all these different things that were being done. So is it entirely plausible that maybe the same thing has happened to Mr. West? Yeah, I think so. I think it's unfortunate that we find it hard to really take him serious nowadays. because of the antics of the past um but i do believe that he needs to find proper help if he doesn't already have it to really see what's going on if it is some kind of autism then you know there should be some way to kind of help with that you know as well like the spectrum is large um but i don't know i think that like it's it's kind of frustrating to kind of put it out there like that when you're at the same time talking about negatively about your wife, you know, and bringing up this stuff, this narrative that she's keeping your kids from you when there's been plenty of pictures of North hanging out with your current wife, you know, and there's pictures of like him being with his kids. So, so it's like, at which point Mm -hmm. do you believe or don't believe, you know, some of what he's saying, because it just kind of feels like you're conflating the two things. Like, what is the point of bringing up the fact that you were misdiagnosed with the fact that you claim your wife, ex-wife is keeping your kids from you? Like, mm-hmm. I feel like it detracts. And that's kind of been the issue in the last few years with him is he'll say something and then he'll say something else that makes it kind of like take away from the initial statement. Yeah. And it makes people like not know what to really make of it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That is true. I mean, I think his antics and the things he says and, you know, they're controversial and they they overshadow, you know, the real, you know, struggles that he's having or, you know, whatever he's trying to communicate with us. So I can definitely see that not to stick up for Kimmy, Kimberly Noel, but, you know, (laughs) if let me preface. So. Kanye does seem to be happy right now. Maybe he needed to be away from the spotlight, be away from the Kardashians. We already know Kris Jenner don't play. Right. Everybody has to be on their P's and Q's. And Kanye ain't about that, which is great. (laughs) because That's his artistry. That's him. Kanye is going to Kanye whenever he wants to Kanye. Right. And he does seem very happy with Bianca. Yeah. Bianca, right. Yeah, Bianca. You know, he he's over there in Italy barefoot. Apparently, you know, they're getting you can't let that go. I can't because it's so nasty. But whatever. You know, there's things. How about if there's like a nail and then it hit he steps on it and then now he has to go to the doctor because, you know, a tetanus shot or something. Like this could escalate quickly, kind of thing. Yeah. You know, he's happy, you know, going on gondolas and, and you know, getting a happy ending. That's a good way to say it. <laughs> so, but to go back to what I was going to initially say, if Kim is keeping the kids, we don't know. Maybe she is, maybe she isn't. But yeah. I'm trying to put myself in her shoes. And if he's, let's say, maybe not on medication or if he's acting in this, you know, in this fashion that might be erratic or kind of worrisome, you know, I wouldn't want the kids to, you know, see that or, yeah. you know, be around, you know, maybe, you know, the dad is not having a good day. Yeah. And, you know, the kids have to see that. I don't know why the kids, adults, we always remember bad things or yeah. sad things. So. Yeah. One thing about the Kardashians, they want to make everything magical. It's not a real world, but they're trying, you know. Yeah, that's true. So, you know, if Kanye doesn't want to be on medication or he's trying to figure out his diagnosis or 
you know, whatever he's going through, I wouldn't want the kids to be there yeah. if, you know, he hasn't quite figured it out. I, yeah. I would think, you know, but I don't know. This is a, a sensitive topic. Yeah, it's tricky because, you know, at the end of the day, like, we're not doctors, you know, mm-hmm. and, and so it's like, you know, neither is Elon. <laughs> like, so it, it's- doesn't want to be Elon's friend. <laughs> Um, but yeah, I mean, I hope, I really sincerely hope that he does get, you know, the right sort of, of treatment if that's what he needs or the right sort of like help. Um, Mm -hmm. because like, I, I, I hate when people try to minimize mental health illnesses as though, oh, they're just crazy. Like, no, that's, that's not what it is. Like Mm -hmm. a lot of the time it's a chemical imbalance that you have going on. You can't think some things you cannot control. So, um, so I know that like, at least for me personally, I, I've had like harsh thoughts on his behaviors in the past. Um, but like reading through, you know, some of this research and all that stuff, like I kind of feel like sympathetic towards him because it's gotta be difficult, you know, because maybe it's like, he's feeling powerless and, and and that's, yeah. And that's a very, very hard thing to deal with on such a large public scale. Yeah. So whatever the case may be, whatever the real diagnosis is, I do hope that he gets the proper help. And I just want to say, not that anybody might care, Through the Wire is my favorite Kanye song. Yeah. All time. Yeah. Same. I mean, I, I just wanted to end in the lighter note, you know, yeah. uh, FAQ about me. Through the Wire is one of my favorite songs. So, guys, let us know what uh, you think in the comments about, you know, Kanye saying that he was misdiagnosed. Yeah. Do we believe him? Do you think he should seek treatment? Do What do you think about Kim withholding the kids if she is or if Ooh. she isn't? Um, again, you know, we're not judging. We're mm-hmm. just stating we hope that he gets all the help that he needs. If he wants it, if he doesn't, it's cool too. That's his life. Right. I'm a big Kanye fan. I don't think D is. I mean, I'm I'm not like not a fan of his. I was I think I've just grown indifferent. Um, mm-hmm. but I did used to be a big fan of his and like I still love a lot of his old stuff. Um, but you know, just like with everything in life when you get older, you kind of fall off from some things. So, yeah. you know, like I said, I hope he just gets his his stuff, you know, that he may need. But that concludes today's video. Um, you know, yeah, just comment, tell us something. I know you're about to pop off on me because that's what y'all do every time we post something about Kanye. I'm ready for it. Again, I didn't mean no harm. If you got offended, I hope Kanye <laughs> just help or doesn't, whatever he wants, as yeah. long as he's happy and healthy. And they're yeah. for kids. I don't care what he does. Uh, but that concludes today's video. If you haven't already done so, please subscribe. Turn on the notification bell so you don't miss any of our videos. Also, thank you for sharing our videos. Like, yeah. we're so excited. We're finally growing our community. <laughs> low, but we appreciate the help. So yeah. please continue to share our videos. We're trying to grow our community so your friends could be our friends. We can all be friends. We also have social media, which Steve will tell you about. We're on Instagram and TikTok at Hear Me Out D N E. So make sure you guys follow, like, share, and comment. We enjoy interacting with y'all. All right, guys. We'll see you next time. Peace. Bye. Bye.